In this video, we will look at combining functions. You will find this on page 104 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Combining functions. This means performing the basic arithmetic operations addition, subtraction, multiplication and division with functions. The other way of combining functions is by using composite functions. Okay, but let's start. The basic arithmetic operations. Addition, they can either say it like this or they can separate the F and the G. Uh, another way of writing is if they just leave out the X. Okay, subtraction, combine or separate and leave out. Multiplication, they can just leave out the multiply or they can put it in or they can do it like this. And then division, then basically it's just or they can separate it like this. And in this case, now oh, this looks more or less exactly the same. Okay, so let's look at an example. Now, Given f of x equals 2x plus 1 and g of x equals x squared plus x minus 6, determine each of the following. So it's first addition. Okay, remember by determine, we will mean one of two things depending on what is in the brackets. If there is a number in the brackets, then we want a number answer. If there is an x or, or no brackets, since that implies an x, it's for example like there, okay? Then we perform the operation and simplify as far as possible, giving an answer in terms of x. Okay, so there's my two functions. If I add, add that up, but now, now look, because they give that number, it means substitute 3 in, substitute in g, also 3, and then add the result. Okay, if there's not a number, do you see, then it means x. So basically... Just take f and subtract function x. And then you simplify and it's in terms of x. And then if you multiply, if you look at this one, then it's this one and it basically just multiply. It's a double bracket. So I times, 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 times and add the like terms. And then if I divide, then I, and, and the, again there's a number. Do you see? So I substitute, substitute and then I get my answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number one. Given, well, let's see, if x. G X Determine each of the following. Let's start with A. That is actually your general function. Okay, so in A it's F plus G and then it's X. Now, if, if they give it to you like this, then basically, it's just saying you must add the two functions. So you must take f. Oh, it's my pen. And I add g. Remember, there's not a number. So it's in terms of x. So if I simplify this, it's minus 2x squared, and this is minus 3x, and then minus 32, minus 4, it's minus 36. And that's your final answer. Okay, let's look at number B. Now, this is fx, gx. Now, in this case, it's just multiplying out the two brackets, so... And again, it's in terms of x. Do you see that? And 
and that is going to give you, if I multiply, so this is 6, x to the power 3, if I multiply, then this is 8x squared, and if I multiply, this is going to be positive 96, and if I multiply, this is going to be 128. And then, that's going to be your final, because it's, there's no like terms to add. That will be your final. Okay, and then number C. Now, this is going to be uh, G over F, but now there's a 3. Okay, so in this case, I, they want you to substitute. So I will say, let's just go, negative 2, and then it's 3 squared minus 32. And then this is going to be, uh, oh, 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 it G is on, on top. G is on top. Let's just repeat. Okay. So basically G, so it's negative 3, 3 minus 4. But just make sure which one is standing on top. And then it's negative 2, and it's 3, and it's squared minus 32. This is going to be negative 9 minus 4. And this is going to be 9 times 2, so it's negative 18 minus 32. And that is going to give me a negative divider, so it's going to both negative. So let's just first do it. It's negative 13, let's move it up, over negative 50. But if I simplify negative divide, then it's 13 over 50. And that's your final answer. Okay, and then I'll do the last one. Um, this is my space. I don't think my space is enough here. And my last one, number D. And that will be G minus F and negative 2. Okay, so now I substitute in G. I'm just going to do it. Uh, negative 2 because there's a number. And then make a bracket in F. And then this is 6 minus 4 minus, and this is 4, so it's a negative 8, negative 32. And this is then going to be 2 minus. And this is going to be uh, negative 40. And this is then going to be 2 plus 40, which will give me a final answer of 42. Very, very easy.